Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. About three months ago, I did a video about privacy VPNs and routing a network through them on our UDM SE. Well, now with Unify 3.0, they make it a lot easier. So in this video, we're going to create a network. We're going to create a Wi-Fi network, and then we're going to add an open VPN network and route our traffic through ExpressVPN. On a side note, the UDM pros still can't do this until they reach Unify 2.0, which is hopefully coming in a few weeks. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do so is to subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And if you'd like to hire me for network consulting, you could visit my website in the description below. So first, let's take a look at the network topology. We have a wireless access point on the top and we have our internet connection going into our UDM SE and it's connecting to my USW Pro aggregation switch, which is also plugging into my USW Enterprise PoE. We have a computer plugged into this switch and it's showing a couple Apple TVs. I don't have Apple TVs, but this will work with any device that you want to connect to that Express VPN network or whichever privacy VPN that you're going to be using. So how the traffic would flow through the computer, it would go up and then it would go out to the internet with our public IP address. But if we look down below, this is how it's going to route when we're using Express VPN. So our computer will go up, it will go the internet but this time it's going to take the IP address of ExpressVPN in whichever open VPN configuration we choose. So we'll be doing it through a USA server. The first thing we need to do is to create a network and a Wi-Fi network. So we're in Unify Network Controller. We'll click on our settings wheel and then we'll click on networks. Here we're going to create a new network and I'm going to give this a name of test VPN. Now I'm going to deselect auto scale and then we're going to have it on 192.168.100.1. I'll go down to manual and I'll give it a VLAN ID of 100 as well, and then we'll add the network. Next, we're going to go up to the Wi Fi networks, create new Wi Fi. I'll call this test VPN as well. And then I'll give it a password of test1234, and then we'll put it on the network of the test VPN and add the Wi Fi network. Now we have our networks created, we need to create the VPN. So we could go to teleport and VPN, scroll down, and we're going to want to select VPN client and create new. For the name, I'll just call it Express VPN. And the VPN type is an open VPN and we need to give it a username, a password and a config file. So you could use whatever privacy VPN you want, but you need to have this information. So I'll show you how to do it with ExpressVPN. My old video, which I will have in the link below, was for NordVPN. I already have an account created with ExpressVPN, but if you don't, you will have to create one and subscribe. What we're gonna wanna do is click on this manual configuration. Now under the manual configuration, we could see setup and this gives us a username and a password. And that's what we need to bring into our Unify network. So I'm gonna copy the username and password and bring this into Unify. Now the last thing we need to do, we need to grab an open VPN config file. And here we could choose either America, Europe, Middle East and Africa or Asia Pacific. I'm gonna select the Americas and we're gonna go to San Francisco We'll click this and it will download an open VPN file. For ExpressVPN to work, we need to add one line to the config and that line is client. Once we do that and we press save, we'll be able to connect to this. Now going back to our Unify network controller, we could see that we have the username and we have the password. Now we need to upload an open VPN config file. So now I have the my Express VPN underscore San Francisco UDP open VPN config file. We need to test and save. The open VPN passed the test and we could see the name is ExpressVPN. The protocol is open VPN and we could see the server IP. This is the IP of ExpressVPN, not my public IP, and we can see the uptime. In the previous Unify 2.0, what would happen when we create this VPN client? It would route all of our traffic through it, so every single subnet. Now it doesn't. So we need to specify what network we want to go over this VPN. And how we do that, we go over to Traffic Management, and then we're going to create a new route. So this route, we're going to have all traffic go through it. The target is going to be my test VPN. And then the interface is going to be the Express VPN. And then I'll just call this test VPN again. We don't really need to put a name if we don't want to. And then we'll press add route. So now anytime people connect to the test VPN Wi-Fi, they'll be routed through Express VPN. And we could also do that for the wired network. So I'm going to put this computer onto the test VPN network and we'll see if we route through ExpressVPN. Now this network is connected to the VPN network and we could check by going IP config and we could see that we're getting an IP address of 192.168.100.195. Now if we do a trace route towards google.ca, 
we should see that OpenVPN IP pop up. Now under the third hop, we could see the ExpressVPN IP address 45 131 194 125. So now this is working and it looks like I'm routing through the United States. So that's gonna be it for this video on routing traffic through a privacy VPN with the new Unify OS 3.0. They made it a lot easier than in 2.0 and you could get it up and running in a few minutes. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.